This is Matt and this is a quick video on how to add files to ChatGPT. So I'm right here on ChatGPT.com. Whether you have a free account, uh, whether you have a paid account, I've got a paid account here and I have ChatGPT5. So you want to have the model of choice. Um, right now, ChatGPT5 is pretty darn good. So have that one set. And all you're going to do to add files, so this is where you'd normally ask a question to the AI, but instead we're going to click on this plus symbol and we're going to click on this one at the top, add photos or files. And you'll see right here, I have my desktop open. I have a few different files uh, that I've been working on recently. So the thing with this is here's a, a random PNG of a YouTube thumbnail from this very channel that you're watching this video on. And here's another one. So what you can do is you can add up to 10 files at a time. I think it's 10, it's, uh, sometimes it's 15. They do change it slightly from um, here and there. Uh, you can add images. Um, you can add all kinds of Im image files, whether it's a JPEG, whether it's a PNG, let's add this one in. Um, so you can add them in bulk. You know, you can highlight quite a few files. Um, or you can just highlight them one by one and add them one by one like I'm doing here. So like I say, you can add PNGs, you can add uh, JPEG files, all different kinds of image files. You can also add text files, RTF files, CSVs, if you want to upload a spreadsheet and you want to ask the AI to analyze a spreadsheet um, and check out a whole bunch of data. There's loads of use cases here. As you know, with ChatGPT, there's loads of different things you can do. But if you're looking to actually add files, that was a quick way that you can do that. Instead of typing a message here, you would click this plus symbol and you will click add photos and files. And then you will select your files that you want to add to ChatGPT. And then you will write your message here in the usual way. So these things do change from time to time on ChatGPT. There's always issues with things being moved or changed, but in general, the principles are the same. There'll be something here that you'll click and then you'll see the add photos and files. So it might not always be a plus symbol. It might change. But in general, um, if they change things on the site, uh, the principles will remain the same. You'll always be able to upload files and you would do it this way or a similar way, depending on if they change the app after I record this video. So hopefully you found this video on how to add photos and files to ChatGPT useful. If you found it helpful, drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Mm -hmm.